Hello guys, welcome to Digital Technology Channel. Here is Ethan Jackson. Today, I'm going to be assisted by Emma, a computer virtual partner. Hi Emma. Hi Jackson. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, of course. In this video, we're going to be talking about the COVID-19 pandemic and the first produced COVID-19 vaccine. Okay, guys, I want to tell you that the United States of America received its first ever coronavirus vaccine Monday, December 14, beginning with Sandra Lindsay, a critical care nurse at New York Long Island Jewish Medical Center. But before we talk about the vaccine, guys, let's look at the number of cases around the world. After the number of cases, we look at the vaccine, then we're going to look at the source of COVID-19, its impact on education, and we're going to see why China wasn't hit much by the virus in a long time, like other countries. Worldwide coronavirus cases stands at 73.5 million cases, total number recovered, stands at 41.6 million, and total number of deaths 1.64 million plus 8,443. In the United States, we have 16.4 million, plus 184,000 cases. No one knows the number recovered. The number of deaths in the U.S. stands at 299,000 plus 1,357. In India, 9.88 million plus 2,707 cases have been reported. Total number recovered, 9.39 million plus 30,695, and the number of deaths from COVID-19 in India stands at 143,000 plus 356. In Brazil, we have 6.97 million, plus 42,889 cases, total number of recovered cases 6.21 million, plus 48,434, and total number of deaths stands at 183,000 plus 964. In Russia, total cases, 2.63 million plus 27,651. Russia's recovered cases stands at 2.9 million plus 20,177, and total number of deaths stands at 47,410 plus 564. In France, we have 2.38 million cases, plus 11,533. Recovered cases in France stands at 177,000, and total number of deaths stands at 57,911 plus 150. In northern Cyprus, coronavirus cases stands at 1,176 cases, total number recovered stands at 1,058, and total number of deaths 5. Okay guys, we've seen the number of cases. Let's now look at the vaccine production and the various vaccination campaigns in different countries around the world. First, let's look at the United States. The United States pharmaceutical giant Pfizer and German firm BioNTech together are producing millions of COVID-19 vaccine that has gained approval. The Trump administration has placed more than $11 billion in funding what they call Operation Warp Speed. The vaccine is expected to reach 636 locations in several days with 145 sites, mostly healthcare system, expected to re receive doses. The United States is pushing to procure 100 million vaccine in the second quarter of 2021. Coronavirus vaccine were given to the Americans for the first time on Monday, December 14, 2020, beginning with Sandra Lindsay, a critical care nurse at New York Long Island Jewish Medical Center, and several other persons received the COVID-19 vaccine with joy. So guys, you can actually see here that there is belief that the United States October 2020 election had an impact on the COVID-19 situation in the United States, whether Joe Biden or President Donald Trump. The strategies on tackling the virus has an impact on the future of the virus in the United States. The next country that has approved the Pfizer Biotech vaccine is the United Kingdom, the first Western country to issue approval for the vaccine for emergency use, received their first COVID-19 vaccine on the same Monday, 14 December 2020. 
The vaccine is expected to reach mostly nursing homes, healthcare workers, and people over 80 will be the first in line to receive the, va the vaccine. And also, the United Kingdom is expected to distribute more than 800,000 COVID-19 vaccine into the United Kingdom by the coming weeks with 4 million by the end of December. Let's look at the Russia Sputnik V vaccine developed by the National Research Center of Epidemiology and Microbiology in Moscow. Developers of the Sputnik V vaccine announced phase 3 results on November 11, two days after Pfizer and BioNTech released the first compiling evidence of vaccine can protect against coronavirus. Okay guys, in Singapore, the Health Science Authority has approved the COVID-19 vaccine developed by Pfizer and BioNTech with the first shipment due to arrive Singapore by the end of December, announced by the Prime Minister Lee Hesley on Monday, December 14. At the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, when the virus took all over the world, the world in quarantine. Many people argue about the source of the virus. Before we look at the source of the virus, let's look at what happened to the world at that particular time. The United States, the UK, other countries and the entire world was under a lockdown. Even countries in the days that like in the desert areas like the United Arab Emirates, its capital Dubai was also under lockdown. And you know, one thing is this virus affected everything, including football. You're going to see here the football stadiums were actually deserted. You know, everything was actually deserted here in these football uh, stadiums. Even when the players actually played, there was no spectator to watch these matches. And you can actually see here that football star Cristiano Ronaldo was also caught by this COVID-19 and other football stars that were actually affected by the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So it was really a devastating effect at that particular time. Right now, the question here is, what is the source of this virus? President Trump of the United States of America calls it the Chinese virus. Some studies actually showed that the virus originated from China in the Chinese city of Wuhan, believed to be coming from bats. Some people believe that it originated from a lab, you know, a Chinese lab. Some said it's God's punishment for mankind. So many different versions of which the most accepted is it originated from bat in Wuhan market in China. Okay guys, the next question here is why was China not hit much by the pandemic for a long time? Yeah, actually China responded fast maybe you actually responded fast you know they carried out testings let's see what actually happened to china what happened that china wasn't hit hard by the virus in a long time like other countries
Okay guys, I want to show you this phony COVID-19 vaccine injection drama. You know, it's actually very, very phony. So I want to show you here, you can see. Let's watch it. The coronavirus also had huge impact on education, making schools to shut down. Students begin online education, saving those who did not know the computer or do certain things with the computer and now fully involved with the computer through online learning. It actually affected churches, leading to a shutdown of churches. And this pandemic actually affected workplaces too. So, but, you know, many people actually sit in their homes and walk virtually from their homes. And, but some people actually went to work, you know, some people went to work. Yeah, maybe the boss of the company or maybe the secretary, they actually went to work. So, uh, Emma here is going to tell us how these people who actually went to work cooped. People who manage to go to work, put on face mask, to protect themselves from the virus, and practice social distancing to avoid spreading the virus. And she's going to be telling us how you can prevent this virus, you know, you can actually protect yourself against this virus. I will advise every parent to disinfect their homes. They should disinfect all home equipment like their TV. Most importantly, they should disinfect their toilets. Each country should ensure strict measures, employ different testing methods and techniques. Keep your hands clean, wash with soap, and use sanitizer. Thank you very much for watching, guys. That was Ethan Jackson, assisted here by Emma. Hi, Emma. I'm so happy to meet you here. You know, I'm very happy to actually work with you here for this coronavirus video. It was very good. Me too. I am so, so happy to be on Digital Technology Channel. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> I was very, very happy about that. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay connected to Digital Technology Channel.